also to Bonnie Southern Ireland. Wexford to be exact. And it was big Glenn Ross, the European champion, who was on home soil looking for a victory. Well, in the first heat of this farmer's walk, 360 kilos in the hands, 29 seconds was what Ravis Vizas managed. But Tom Omit, the Estonian, better that with 21. Glenn Ross was nowhere to be seen in his heat. But Antonus Abrutus, the crazy one, was he on the way to his first ever World Strongman Cup victory? Certainly looked good in the first event. Nobody else managed to beat 20 seconds but this guy. The giant fisherman's pole. Glenn Ross used his body weight well. The big man from Belfast, 210 kilos of body weight. Managed to drag it up, better than Tom Omit. He only did three reps, but Antonus Abrutus, go figure. Only 130 kilos of body weight, what lower back power he had. He matched Ross to the final weight, but then Ross failed. Number five though for Abrutus, could he pull it up? Well, stick that in your pipe and smoke it. No problem, as Lithuania take two events. Head to head, two cars. This a heavier weight than we have ever seen on the international strongman scene. Carl Waiatoa, former Mr. New Zealand in bodybuilding on the left. Ravis Vidzis on the right, and it was Vidzis who went first. The former bodybuilder held on for 31 seconds. Glenn Ross. The daddy in the green socks. He's earned that nickname, the daddy, because he's won more events in more international competitions than just about anybody. But Antonis Abrutis was able to hang on just a little longer as Glenn Ross's strap burst. So Abrutis was having the day of days and attacking this 15 ton truck with incredible vigor. 30.6 seconds was what Glenn Ross knew he had to beat. 30.1. And Glenn Ross went into the lead in this competition in Wexford. Tom O'Mitt, however, was not to be outdone in the pull. Look at the power of this guy. They call him the mountain, and that's because he's just so big. 29 seconds for that truck pull for Tom O'Mitt. And that gave him a chance of a medal. Well, Ravis Vidzis, the Latvian, dragging that chain and anchor just as hard as he could. He won the first event in Belarus, but stood no chance now of winning this second event. It was really down to Antonis Abrutis with the red belt against Glenn Ross. Ross had half a point advantage coming into the medley, but was very slow on the tyre. And just had nothing left in the tanks. Abrutus took the victory in Wexford, Ireland. Big surprise for the home support of Glenn Ross. 58.5, and in fact, Tom O'Mitt managed to sneak in to the silver medal position.